Hello YouTubers. Let's set up Cam Studio and the DivX codec. We'll bring up Cam Studio. And we want to be sure that we're going to record to AVI. You do that by depressing the SWF AVI push button. You can see it changes when I depress it. We want record to AVI. Let's go to region, select fixed region and be sure that we set our width at 640 pixels and type in 360 pixels for our height. Click OK. Go to Options. Click Video Options. Let's select which uh, video codec we're going to use. We're going to use the DivX 6.85 codec. You may want to use uh, Cam Studio Lossless or XVID or the MSU Screen Capture codec or some of the others that you might have. Set your quality at 60. This is a compromise between best video quality and a smaller file size. We found that 60 uh, works very well for us. Set the keyframes every 30 frames, capture frames every 100 milliseconds, and the playback rate at 10 frames per second. We do not use the auto adjust. Let's configure the DivX codec. Set your, under the main tab, your certification profile to 720 high definition profile by using the down arrow and highlighting 720 HD. Encoding presets is not used, it's grayed out. Uh, the slider is set on 3, though I believe it's disabled. Set your rate control mode at one pass by using the down arrow and highlighting one pass. Type in 256 kilobits per second for your bit rate. Go up to your video tab and set your video resolution format in to square pixels and your format out to square pixels. Set your interlace to progressive source by using the down arrow and highlighting progressive source. Set your psychovisual enhancements to off. Click OK. And if you'd like to see uh, clarification on why we chose these settings, you'll want to view our other video entitled Cam Studio and DivX uh, Settings. Click OK. Go to Options. Click Cursor Options, put a dot in Show Cursor, and we have a dot in our Use Actual Cursor. Uh, you may want to play around with some of the other options here. We like to highlight our cursor, so you put a check in that checkbox, and you can adjust the highlight size diameter for this circle with this slider. We set it about halfway, and you can change the shape of your highlighting either a circle or ellipse or a square or rectangle we chose a circle you can also change the color of your highlighting by clicking the color button and choose appropriate color okay click OK out of that go back to options uh, and check record audio from microphone be sure that's checked go down to audio options and let's set the audio options for microphone set the auto audio capture device as default input device or possibly uh, motherboard audio card using the down arrow you can make that selection now this is very important click the volume button and that takes you to your computer recording control panel for the microphone volume control be sure that volume control lever is all the way up and that the checkbox for select is checked because you want to use that microphone and click the advanced button. That takes you to a new window where you can select a microphone boost. Be sure that checkbox is checked that gives you a 10 dB boost in your recording audio level. Click close and X out of the recording panel. 
Now let's choose our recording format. Click the down arrow and we've chosen 11 kilohertz monaural 16-bit. We don't need uh, stereo and we don't need uh, high frequency audio response. We're using speech. 11 kilohertz is plenty for speech and we're not playing music so we don't need stereo. We want to keep our file size as down as small as possible. So we've selected 11 kilohertz mono 16-bit. I doubt that most of us can hear 22 kilohertz and certainly not 44 kilohertz uh, frequency response. Now we want to select what compressor we use for the audio. Uh, you might select PCM uh, or MPEG Layer 3 or LAME MP3 or some of the other uh, audio codecs that you have. We selected MPEG Layer 3 and 11 kilohertz frequency response monaural. I click OK and you can see that we do not leave, use the interleave video and audio. There's no check in the interleave every box and n neither do we use the MCI recording feature. No check in that check box. Click OK and we're done with our audio. Okay, let's uh, enable auto pan. You put a check by an all, enable auto pan. That allows the uh, recording area box to follow your cursor wherever your cursor may go on the screen. So we enable that. And then we want to in, uh, set the auto pan speed. You can set that to where you're comfortable with. We set it on 75 or 100. That works pretty well for us. Depends on how fast or how slow you move around the screen. Uh, set it. I've set mine on 75, so we'll click OK. Go back to options again. Uh, click on program options. We want to check minimize program on start recording. Uh, that feature uh, minimizes the Cam Studio GUI so that it's not in your way when you're trying to record on the screen. Be sure that that then is checked to minimize program on start recording. Save settings on exit. You want the program to remember the settings that you're making right now for a subsequent recording that you'll make later on. Play AVI when recording stops. I've got do not play AVI file. I don't need that option. Uh, temporary directory for recording. You'll need to tell the program where you want the video to be stored. So select user specified directory. That gives you a browse window and you can highlight the folder that you want to store your completed video in. I've selected my videos folder which is in my documents. Click OK. Go back to options again. And name of AVI, AVI file, you'll want uh, the program to ask you for the name of the program when you uh, when it completes recording. Or you could tell it to automatically name the file using a date and time. I prefer to give a specific name uh, to my videos. And then that leaves the keyboard shortcuts. Uh, you'll want to assign a keyboard key for each operation. I've selected the shift key and F8 for my record pause button. That is you have to hold the shift key down at the same time you depress F8 uh, to start the recording. Uh, likewise F9 to stop the recording and for cancel a recording I've assigned F10. Uh, if you're in the middle of a recording and you make a mistake and you want to just cancel out, uh, hit your assigned cancel recording key and there will be no video saved uh, for that particular recording. The other uh, keyboard shortcuts 
I don't use and have not found the need for, and I doubt that you will either. Click. Uh, we're going to click X out of this, and uh, that completes this video. I hope you've gotten some useful information from it, and uh, hope that you'll leave me some comments. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.